guys, it's time to have a look at a Spectrum Classic. Definitely among the top games of the system. Excellent, published by Houston Consultants in uh, mid-1987. And this is a game that was designed by Raphael Kecko, who made uh, maybe not that many games on the Specky, but the ones he made were often very technically impressive and visually impressive and uh, also fun to play and also balls hard. <laughs> and I'm of course talking about games such as Cybernoid 1 and 2 and also Stormlord 1 and 2, I believe. And Raphael was of course responsible for the coding and the uh, graphics of the game, as well as the design. But what I didn't know is that Nigel Brownjohn animated and created the main sprite. And he was involved with the games such as Beyond the Ice Palace and uh, Hijack, and also uh, Verminator and Onslaught on the 16-bit machines, and uh, I believe a couple of other games. And he had a very distinctive visual style, as you can clearly see in his 16-bit games. But enough said about that, let's dive into Excellent on the Specky and get murdered by vicious 8-bit sprites. Hmm. And a pretty simple but nice looking and colourful loading screen. And it also has a uh, counter down to the right, but it's not moving right now because I'm loading this from a div MMC. So I get instant load times, which is pretty nice. Trust me. And we get the typical happy little ditty. And since I'm such a filthy cheater, I'm going to enter a bit of a cheat. If you enter Sorba on the Defiant Keys, uh, you should get infinite lives. And you can redefine the keys afterwards again, so you can actually control the game. So that's nice, because I don't think Sorba is particularly optimal from a controlling standpoint. But let's start up with uh, Kempston. There we are. Excellent. Looking absolutely amazing. This game is absolutely gorgeous, and I was so blown away by these huge explosions. They look amazing. I mean, for the specky. Um, so I was really impressed with this, and I remember I played this a great deal. I don't remember how far I got. Probably decently far, but not super far, maybe. I, I don't remember. And there's these filthy turrets. And they have random attack patterns, and I don't really like that. But let's blow this up, just because I feel like it. And you can see we got this thingy that pushes us and murders us. And it's got also got random attack patterns. So annoying. That's the kind of my, my main gripe with the game back in the day. And we can, of course, also jump and to fire these awesome-looking missiles. We hold the fire button. And just... Uh, oh no, I didn't mean to jump there. Okay, let's blow this one up, grab some grenades, and let's not get balled to the face. Uh, we've got some more stuff we need to blow up. Ah, and the controls are a little bit annoying in the sense that they don't... I can't control myself in mid-air. Uh, I don't... Uh, I can't, like, change direction. That is pretty... Oh, and then he double jumps so easily. That is also... Maybe not... Really? Amaze balls? Uh, and the enemies are balls! What do you know? Ah, uh, what a surprise. Oh, and I remember this bit. This is pretty cool. You have got more balls! Only much smaller. Right, so, amazing. Uh, let's blow these up. It controls pretty well with my uh, joystick here. No, don't ball me. Oh, you f Frickin' bastard. It doesn't matter, does it? Because I've got infinite lives! And here's a thing that I like about the Spectrum version. What? How, what? How did I...? Okay, maybe I didn't hit that thing then? Can I blast this, please? No, I can't! I thought I could! <laughs> Apparently I can't. Okay, so... Oh, let's just jump past this. Yeah, here's one thing that I do like about this version, uh, compared to the SD version. Um, we don't get attacked when we are um, to the right on the screen because on the SD version you had to go very close to the... Um... Oh, damn. Oh, there's mines! I forgot, I forgot about those. <laughs> can I jump this? I think I can, right? Yep. Oh, no! I double jump. Don't do that! <laughs> yeah. As I was saying before I was rudely murdered, let's just go down here. Um... Oh no, this this thing. Can I just go back up? I think I... Oh no, when I blow up that rocket-looking thing, I believe... 
that rocket disappears. So that's nice. Um, as I was saying, when you've got an enemy... Oh, I forgot about you. When you've got enemies coming from the right, once you get close enough to the right side um, of the screen, they will stop attacking. So that, that is kind of nice. But you have to go very far in the ST version. You don't have to do that on the Spectrum. And I believe this is an upgrade. Oh, yes. We now have dual shots. And we look way cooler. And we don't have to mess with these things as much. But we do have an annoying little... Uh, missile! I presume I can't shoot these things, can I? Oh, I can. I kind of misremembered. I remember these as being impervious to my... Uh, my laser guns. But they're not. This one, though, I think is. So we need to blow up the control center here, whatever it is. Please die. Blow up. Let's get a little bit closer. No, no, no. Oh, this... I thought you were going to keep doing your pattern thing, but you didn't. Yeah, this game is just a lot of simple fun. Really enjoyable. And it does look absolutely stunning on the spectrum. And is this something... Oh, no, I can't shoot that. I just, mm, yeah, got confused there. And get me some grenades. Oh, we can have a maximum of 10, so okay. And there's something very satisfying about the um, these explosions that are just... Oh, why am I jumping forward? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm pressing right straight up, and I still jump forward sometimes. How did we manage back in the day with all these wonky joysticks? I don't know. It's a bit of a mystery. It's, it's a bit unnecessarily hard. Control. Oh, yeah, the hit detection. It's a little bit evil, I think. Blow up this thing, please. Thank you. And, ooh, you've got a different attack pattern. That's nice. Thanks a bunch, Raphael. And we have a whopping nine lives in the game, which is, uh, one would imagine, to be quite enough. It's not. It's not. Nowhere near enough. <laughs> um, the game is, as I've said, probably a couple of times already, pretty tricky. And uh, okay, somehow I did not die there. That was peculiar. I didn't see the mine. Get out of my way, whatever you are. Okay, let's uh, get some grenades. Shoot some balls. No, don't. Okay, I didn't realize. And if you wait too long on a screen, there's going to be like uh, this evil homing rocket, I think, that's just going to come after you and murder you. Okay. Things are going decently well, although I can't hit those things. But I don't have to because I can duck. The power of ducking. Amazing. And I have no idea if I got this far back in the day. Absolutely no clue kind of recognize it so i think i did but I'm, i can't imagine this is kind of where things are getting a bit hectic and uh, you are running out of life so yeah and this is actually still kind of fun to play in a uh in a sadistical kind of way <laughs> okay okay these guys again i think i can blow up the uh whatever that is and i do like that we don't lose our, our suit because I'm getting really fond of it. Oh no. Oh, I somehow survived that. That's interesting. Can I blow this up? I can. Half of it anyway. No, don't! Uh, I also like that when you respawn, uh, the, the enemies and the obstacles don't respawn, thankfully. So that's nice. Thank you, game. Oh, hang on. I recognize this. Yeah, I think I got this far. The game is divided up into sections. And we have a bonus screen. Ugh. That didn't go well. And now I lose my uh, my suit. That's a bummer. Let's blow up some mushrooms. Yeah, this looks great. And ah, you guys are evil. I didn't realize you were going to speed up. I still have problems with this joystick. Uh, I'm pressing it a little bit too long. And I keep shooting off rockets. That's bad. Okay. Let's try and get over here. No, no, no. Oh, please. 
think this thing stops firing when I get close enough to it, so that is also quite nice. Don't I have any more grenades? Please fire the silly grenades. Dude, come on. Oh, we've got multi-balls. <laughs> yeah, the heat detection isn't particularly kind, but hey, was it ever? Okay, finally. Let's blow up this thing. Kill the spaceships or missiles or whatever they are. Maybe we should go up. I have a feeling we should go up here. I don't know why. I just have a feeling. I have a hunch. Oh, and I keep wasting my my grenades. Okay. Can I die from that one? I don't think so. Let's blow this up. Even the sound effects in the game are quite decent, actually. I mean, for a spectrum, standard spectrum. Okay, that took a bit. Thank God for cheats. Oh, uh, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Can I stay? Yeah, I can stay between here, right? No, I can't. I was one pixel too far to the right. Bastard. And why was this a thing in 80s game design? You know, the uh, the random patterns of enemies. I don't understand what... Oh, I died there. I don't understand why. Why? It's so damn annoying. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I got mined and shot. <laughs> oh no! Damn it! Let's go down here. Ah, uh, more balls. And we have, of course. Can I go back? Oh, we can't. Ah, oh, yeah. I just realised that we have the um, upgrade thing. Come on, jump for. Why is it not jump? I'm not sure why I can't jump forward all of a sudden. Now I can. Oh, come on. Uh. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, big whopping laser thing. Is that good or bad? Maybe I need to blast it. No. Nope. Well, I can't touch it, so... Do I need to blow myself up? <laughs> that is never the answer. <laughs> Maybe I need to use my laser? Oh, yes, of course. And why is this not... Why is he not jumping forward? Yeah. Take some getting used to these joysticks. We're so used to using controllers or, you know, mouse and keyboard these days that I'm finding it tough to go back to joysticks. Oh, God. Yeah. The game does slow down a bit, but not too badly. And, and sometimes it's even a blessing at times. Oh, damn. Um, because it makes things a little bit easier when there's many, many enemies wanting to uh, make an imprint on my forehead. Okay, this can be a bit tricky, but I think we can just spam. Spam away here, and once I get close enough to this murder machine here, it will stop firing, I hope. And please don't... Okay, the enemies weirdly disappear sometimes. Oh, hello. Let's laser this thing into oblivion. Yeah, that worked. Please, no more balls. And no more... Mm. They look like those Monty Moles uh, crushes, only going the other way. And I hated the Monty Mole crushes. <laughs> I mean, who didn't, right? Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> no, don't jump forward. Don't... Okay, that worked, somehow. Let's not blow up all of these, or both of these. Instead, we're going to laser the balls. Not a sentence I expected to utter today, really. But let's laser them anyway. And I don't know if there's um, much more variation to the vicious in the game. I mean, it is running on a 48K spectrum, so they, they don't have too much space for graphics, really. It's, it's amazing that they managed to, or that Raphael managed to squeeze in uh, this many, or this much variation in the uh, in the graphics, really. Oh, no, it doesn't jump forward, you bastard. Come on, jump forward! <laughs> Destroy the rocket thing, the brain of the operations, and, uh, and then get 
Yeah, shot in the face. Yeah, this is a really nice game. Still kind of fun to play, even though yeah, it, it maybe hasn't aged perfectly. It does get a little bit frustrating, and there's definitely things that could be improved, but it it's still a fun little blast. Oh yeah, it was one of those. Let's go up here, but just just wait a bit for the these things to stop firing. Oh, and I can't I can't blast the. Can I fire my rockets? Yes, I can. Oh. Ah, have a missile. It's on the house. Oh, I missed. Damn. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. You get lots and lots of points. Oh dear. This is probably not good for my health. But what is? Oh, and I hate how they just stay out of reach because they are super random and annoying. Come on. Okay, never mind then. Take that, you evil ball. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, okay, I fell down instead. But that's no problem. Uh, really? Wasn't I ducking there? Or crouching? I don't know. Maybe I wasn't. Let's just go up here. Okay, we have arrived at the end of stage two. I think. Ah, uh, please, 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 please. Oh, yeah, there's so many balls. Let's get out of here. Zero points again. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, this is interesting. This is probably not going to be, <laughs> be good. Or maybe we, if we fire it here, I think it should hit the... Yeah, that was fine. And on to the next screen. And sometimes I jump forward when I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fire, fire, damn you. <laughs> there we go. New enemies. Quite a few different enemies here. It's not just balls. But things are starting to look very samey. And I think we are going to call it quits. And have a look at what some magazines had to say about this one. Sinclair User awarded the game a Sinclair User Classic and gave it 10 out of 10. And they wrote, Superb! The best game for ages. All death and destruction on a ludicrously grand scale. Buy this game now. And they also write, Destined to go down in the annals of computer games along with Manic Miner, Lunar Jetman and Night Law. Superb! Again. And Your Sinclair was equally impressed and uh, awarded the game a Your Sinclair Mega Game and gave it 9 out of 10. And they wrote, Fast action with incredible graphics and constant variety. One of the best shooter maps ever. And they also write, How do I sum it up? Three words say it all. Excellent. Extreme excellence. So yeah, this uh, impressed quite a few reviewers back in the day and it is really a very impressive game on the Spectrum. Just looks nice and, I mean, really nice and plays very well. There's something compelling about the gameplay. And although it kind of gets a little bit old these days and there are a couple of frustrations, it's still a pretty nice game. Bit sad that they didn't manage to make this work on the 16-bit machines. The, the ST version, for instance, really isn't that much fun. More of an exercise in frustration and it's vicious quite unimpressive I mean relatively speaking at least and with that I'm gonna say thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and as always hope to catch you next time cheers <laughs>